Well, let's give it a little taste and see what we got. Yeah, you get a little bit of the rice, get a little bit of the gravy, get a little bit of, of the turkey wing. Yeah, let's see what we got. Mmm, mm, that's good. That came out very good. And like I said, you could have thinned the gravy a little bit, but I like mine pretty thick. So there you go. Okay. For lunch today, I got a turkey that I bought for Christmas. And uh, believe it or not, I got it from Super One for 25 cents a pound. So I'm going to just cook the wing sections today. And I think I'm going to make a little, uh, I'm going to just smother them down with a little onion and bell pepper and garlic. So go ahead and dry your wings off first. And go ahead and set them in there. And we're just going to get a little brown on both sides of them. All we're trying to do on this step is to get a little brown on all the sides of the wings. So let me get that done. And once we start getting a little brown in the pot, we'll go ahead and add the rest of the uh, ingredients. Not the rest, we'll add the, uh, the vegetables. This is a medium diced onion and two cloves of garlic diced. And this is one medium bell pepper diced. I, I got the red one because they were on sale. And that's pretty much it. We'll add some seasonings here shortly. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the onions and the uh, bell pepper to get a little translucence to them. Plus they'll help uh, deglaze the pot because it was starting to get a little brownness on the bottom of it. And once you got your uh, onions and bell pepper cooked a little bit, go ahead and add some water. Not too much. Mm. You know, you still want to be able to see the top of the, uh, the the legs and the wings. Well, I should say wings. This is not legs. This is the, uh, the bottom part of the wing and this is the top part of the wing. So, there you go. Kind of stir that around. Get all the goodness out the bottom of the pan. And uh, I was going to make a, uh, just kind of smother it down, but I'm actually going to make a little stew with it. So this is a fourth of a cup of some homemade roux I made. Actually made in the microwave. Add that to it. And I may add some more roux. I'll see how thick it is once I get everything combined. So let me do that. All right. I think that's going to be a pretty good thick stew. I don't think I'm going to add any more to it. Gravy is looking pretty good. Like I said, this is going to cook down. It's going to get thicker as it cooks down. So now we'll go ahead and add the seasonings to it. This is uh, one bay leaf. You always got to have a bay leaf when you make a stew. Uh, we got uh, one teaspoon of uh, garlic, uh, actually granulated garlic, uh, Cajun seasoning. I like the Slap Your Mama brand and paprika. So that's one of each. Add that to it. And we're going to go ahead and add a fourth of a teaspoon of some cayenne pepper. I don't know, maybe too much, but I think it'll be perfect. And that's pretty much it on the spice. I don't think I'm going to add any more to it. And we'll let this cook until uh, the wings are basically falling apart. Turkey wings are kind of tough, so it's going to take probably two hours or so. So we'll just let this cook on low. And like I said, I think I'm going to have a nice thick sauce once it cooks down a little bit. So that's pretty much it. And we've been cooking for, I guess, around 40 minutes right now. Uh, I went ahead and checked a couple pieces and uh, they're definitely still tough so I'm thinking at least an hour probably more but when I pick it up like that I wanted to just kind of fall apart but uh, it's nowhere near that yet uh, water starting to cook out a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and add some more water to it or if you had chicken stock you can use that as well but I'm using water and just cover it let it continue to cook uh, I, I did check the uh, seasoning and it's to me it's spot on got the right amount of cayenne pepper to it the salt's good uh, the Cajun seasoning has a lot of salt in it so if you're using it you know make sure you don't over salt it and well, once it's all done I'm gonna degrease the sauce and get most of the grease out but just let it let it cook all right we've been cooking now for about an hour and ten minutes and like I said turkey wings they're tough. I mean, they're going to take a little while. So I think we're starting to get there now. Uh, but I still can't really, like, take the fork and... I mean, it's starting to, but these these right here are still... I think I'm going to let it go probably another 20 minutes. So I'm, I think I'm going to cook this about an hour and a half total. Because it's starting to get there now. Now, this won't get all the grease out, but... Uh, put you a little colander in, uh, on top of a good-sized bowl. 
and uh just basically like just scoop out the uh, liquid and put it inside the colander like such so let me get all that done so let's go ahead and remove the turkey wings just to make it easier to get the grease out of the sauce I imagine mean, this is not going to get all of it out but it'll get more of uh, the majority of it out so there's my wings nice and cooked very tender and now for the sauce just uh and i'm, I'm only doing this because i don't have a very small one to fit on top of my grease pitcher yet so if you tried to put this in the grease a uh, pitcher with all the vegetables and everything it would just clog, clog up the spout when you try to pour it out so that's why i'm doing it this way to kind of help it just kind of go like like this with it i don't want to mash it i want to be able to see the vegetables in the stew so that's why i'm not mashing it with a, a fork or a spoon and like i said I'm, I'm not worried about getting all the grease just some of it so that's pretty much it and like i said just kind of put it back in and try to get most of it off and now we're going to go ahead and degrease the sauce in our degreasing pitcher and basically just take your uh, liquid pour it in our little pitcher here and like I said, this should remove quite a bit of the grease from it. And we'll just let that sit for about five minutes. And all your grease will float to the top. It's already starting to do it, in fact. All right. My gre uh, the gravy been sitting in my little pitcher for a little while. And we got a little grease that formed on it. So now we'll go ahead and pour it off there. Like I said, this won't get all the grease, but it'll it'll get a, a decent amount out the uh, pitcher, out the uh, the gravy. And we'll stop pouring there. Like I said, we didn't have a lot, but we got a little bit. But every little bit helps. You could also use paper towels, but I don't usually buy paper towels. And to finish it off, this is uh, some green onion tops. We'll throw a handful of that in there. Got my fire back on. Go ahead and add the uh, the wing pieces back to the gravy. I'm gonna give it a little stir. I got my fire back on low. Give it just a little stir. Probably warm everything back up for about five minutes, and we're gonna have this over some white rice today. And like I said, if you want your your sauce a little bit thicker, you can certainly. Uh, put less water as it cooked or if you want it uh, thinner you can add more water uh, if you want to make a gumbo just add a bunch of water <laughs> and that's pretty much it and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add just a touch of water because it is pretty thick right now and I'm gonna go ahead and cover that and just let it simmer for about five minutes and then it'll be ready to eat over some white rice uh basmati rice well, i don't know about y'all but i'm pretty dang hungry so put a little uh basmati rice there in my plate i'll make a little side salad to go along with this i got a little rice here go ahead and put your one of your your wings on your plate That'd be a good amount. And of course you gotta have some. Let me zoom this out a little bit where everybody can kind of see. So and then uh of course we'll get some we'll get some gravy on there. Can't get much easier than this. You just gotta cook it a little while. But as long as your fire's on low, you really don't have to do much to it. Like I said, that's that's pretty much it. I think that'd be a good little lunch. Turkey stew, turkey wing stew. Well, let's give it a little taste and see what we got. Yeah, get a little bit of the rice, get a little bit of the gravy, get a little bit of, of the turkey wing. And yeah, let's see what we got. Mmm, mm, that's good. 
that came out very good and like i said you could have thinned the gravy a little bit but i like mine pretty thick so there you go well thanks for watching if you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button thanks